Amtrak is putting passenger trains back on the tracks. Of course, this is three years after a deadly crash near DuPont. King 5's Kelly Greenberg is live there this morning where tests have uh, were supposed to start at 8 o'clock uh, along the Point Defiance bypass. Are they on time, Kelly? What do you know? Oh, we haven't seen any trains. That being said, that's not to say that they didn't start right at 8 a.m. They're going to go from the Tacoma Dome station down to the Nisqually Junction. What we did notice is where we're standing right now in DuPont, uh, the light just turned on, which means they activated the tracks. Uh, that turn there, that is where the accident happened back in 2017. Essentially, the Amtrak train was going too quickly, made that turn, crashed onto I-5. Three people were killed, dozens of others were injured. Now, the NTSB in their investigation, they found a few things, that the train tracks were lacking that positive train control, which would have slowed the train down and that the engineer in the train didn't have the proper training. So since then, Sound Transit says that they've added that positive train control system as well as a few other changes. But the move to get the trains back on the track, it's not sitting well with some local leaders. We spoke to the mayor of Lakewood, who says he's against this project, adding it's a decision based on politics, not safety. It's now uh, between the cost of the project, the overruns, uh, the uh, cleanup, uh, the lawsuits. It's hundreds of millions of dollars, and, and no one's uh, willing to uh, step up and say uh, this was foolish and should stop. So we're on the air here for another hour and we'll keep an eye out to see if we see any of the trains actually going over this portion of the tracks. The testing is going to take place both today and tomorrow, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And they are really going to push these Amtrak trains up to the fastest that they're allowed to go. That is 79 miles per hour. Again, uh, these are the first time these trains have been on these tracks in, in three years. So they aren't anticipating that passengers are going to be riding on these trains anytime soon. They said the earliest will either be late summer or early fall. Live in DuPont, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. Thank you so much for your reporting this morning, Callie. We'll check back in.